Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany back with Millennial Tea. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Take a seat. Grab you a cup because you know I'm serving it hot. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's your girl Tiffany. And today we're going to be discussing Lil Rodney being sentenced um, for reportedly shooting a one-year-old. So definitely stay tuned for the video. Smash that subscribe button if you're new. Okay, so jumping into this video, we have Lil Rodney from Fort Worth, Texas. He is a crip. And basically, he recently was sentenced for shooting a baby, a one-year-old, reportedly. And so they just had, a, um, you know, like the hearing, it was on Zoom. So that video is going viral. It'll be in the description of this um, video. So if you want to see the, the full video, I do have clips in this video. But if you want to look, if you want to see the full video, I'll leave the link in my um, description of this video. And so basically, he um, is on, he was only 11 when it happened. And he's now 12. But he, the judge said in the video that he keeps cutting off the ankle monitor. And you know, the time that he cut it off and end up shooting a baby he said he cut it off because he wanted to go to his homeboy's funeral and whatever group home we stand in they wouldn't let him go because he didn't have the kid's last name when he cut the ankle monitor off um you know he got in trouble for that as well and he was living with his grandpa was to do was and on the video he's crying you know like a typical 12 year old would be crying and he's basically asking the the judge to have leniency on him but if anybody don't know, this little kid is um, an up and coming rapper and he talks about some grown stuff. So like even though he's only he just turned 12, he is um, definitely been around some adults. But basically, it's been reported that Rodney's father has been absent from his life and his mother gave birth to him when she was just 16 years old. She, too, had been in jail reportedly twice since her son was born. So obviously, you know, his parents are younger in age, um, but, but the report, it uh, does continue and it says um, in a hearing that was conducted via Zoom meeting, a tearful Rodney pleaded with the judge to have mercy on him. I just want to know if you can at least give me one more chance then see the, not, the now 12 year old said, if this time I mess up, you should like hold me for some months. The judge, who was familiar with this preteen alleged crip gang member, wasn't having any of it. Every time you come in here, you cry. You know that, right? They told him. Every single time, you beg for me for one more chance. It's just pretty crazy that this little kid can get his hand on a gun. Um, it's obvious he's going through some stuff at home because right now he's staying with his grandpa, but... It's just like he has a lot to deal with. Um, definitely, I feel like he knows what he's doing. Like he's begging to get out and he knows he's he's not going to act right. But seven years, it's a long time for you to think about it. Hopefully he'll um, get out. The judge said he'll meet with him every five days. Um, they definitely seem like they're trying to work with the kid because they say he's been in there multiple times and they keep putting an ankle monitor on him and he keeps cutting it off. And and then, you know, the last time he cut it off, he's that's when he sh end up shooting that baby. And it's just, you know, it seems like he's spiraling out of control. But it doesn't really seem besides the grandpa, like his parents, maternal and paternal are really there for him. And maybe that's why he's acting up. But um, yeah, obviously he has some demons that he has to deal with. So definitely this little boy's parents need to get in his life. Um, I understand that they were young when they had him. But this is just getting out of control Jay, Jay with what he's doing. He's already living with here. his maternal time, um, grandfather, yeah. and it doesn't seem like it's helping him. So definitely they need to get a hold of him, you know, fast before he really ends up in prison for life. I mean, granted, from now until 17 or 19 is a long time, seven years, but he'll still be young and can hopefully rehab rehabilitate into normal society. Um Hopefully that little baby didn't die. They didn't really say if it if the toddler, you know, you know, um, lived. But they didn't say it was like a murder charge. So I'm assuming it was, it was just like an assault, um, because it was you know with the gun. But definitely, um, we'll keep you updated on this. And um, 
smash that subscribe button and take a look at the clip. You were here for, you're on probation for arson. And that is from 2019. And then we've had all kinds of problems. Most recently, I let you go. I've, you come in and out. I've always let you go because you're so young. I mean, you're, so you keep on running away. We keep on getting you back in here, make you stay a couple of days. You promise me you're not going to cut it off. I think you cried a couple of times about coming back here. And then this last time we let you out. Mr. Spence, what was the last time we let him out? Donner, he cut his monitor on 8-14 of this year and ran. Okay, so about six weeks ago, cut off his monitor and ran. Even though you promised me you wouldn't. All right. And so now there is definitely a new charge that was filed really back to April. And that's the one where you shot the one-year-old? Mr. Spence? Yes, yes, Your Honor, it is. Like a one-year-old baby? Yes. Okay. All right, so he's on probation for arson. He's accused of shooting a baby at 11 years old. And then we bring him back in. He's been on the run, and he's smoking weed. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Anything else I'm missing about him? All right. I know 11-year-olds are supposed to have guns, right, after they've been accused of shooting a baby. All right. Yes, so, Mr. Moore, what should I do at this point? Like, where am I at? Oh, I was, see, I, this time I wasn't going to could, but like. Don't I, say that, okay? Not right now. You're going to want to talk to your attorney first. Yes, ma'am. Well, I was, I don't know, but I was trying to see, could you at least give me one more chance and then see if, it, if this time I mess up, you should like hold me for some months. Yeah, but didn't you say that last time? You told me you told me to hold you for a year last time if I mess up, didn't you? I never said that. I don't remember. What? Yeah, you told me that I can hold you next time. Give me one more chance. Actually, you said that two two times. So, and remember, in the last time I said, "Well, that's what you said last time. Why should I? Why should I believe you this time?" All I was trying to do was go to my friend's funeral. And I asked Mr. Spence, and he said no. And then I missed Javi and stuff because I was in here. And every time I heard, every time I miss one of my friends, so I, I tried to go to the funeral, and Mike didn't let me go because I didn't know my friend last name. <laughs> and then. then <laughs> I just had to, because uh, I didn't want to more. Rodney, I think Judge understands your point at this point. Okay, uh, so, so they allowed they, they want guns at the funeral. Is that where you're trying to go? No, that was that was a long time after the funeral. All right. Your Honor. So you went to a funeral for a friend, but you don't know the friend's last name. No, because we all go by our nicknames and everybody noticed. And then he said, I couldn't go because I didn't know the last name. And that hurt. I missed so many of his. And your nickname is 30 Shots, right? Yes, sir. I'm not going to lie. Yes, sir. Well, you're not going to lie. You've lied to me before. I'm just telling all the truth. It ain't nothing to lie. You know everything. Ronnie, here's the problem. It's like, if you lie to me so many times, how do I know when you're lying? And how do I know when you're telling the truth? Because I can just, I'm tell all the truth. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I promise to God right here to me, I'm not going to lie to you. Anything you ask me, I'm going to tell you. But remember when you raise your hand, promise to God that you're not going to cut off your monitor? I had to, I had to go to my own boy funeral, and that's it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that's all I asked for. What time I had for? I was never gonna cut it. <laughs> I 
I wouldn't. Hey, Rodney. Okay. Rodney, okay. you told me you're not going to lie. No. Rodney, I'm, I'm really tired of you lying to me. I just said, so, I'm tired of, like, every time, every time you come in here, you cry. You know that, right? Like, every so, single time you come in here, you cried. And every single time you begged me for one more chance, because you swear to God, <laughs> on my mama's name, you cried. Like, you were bawling, right? And you were crying. And I was, I felt sorry for you because you're just this little kid that I thought was crying. And then now I'm realizing you just cry every single time. I don't think they're fake tears. I think you're really crying, but you cry every time. It's because you're a kid. You're 11 years old. I'm sorry. Now you're 12 years old. Right. And so, and that's my problem is I don't like little 11 and 12 year olds here because you're just immature. I mean, you're a baby. And so now, but the thing is, Rodney, if you want to be treated, treated like an adult, you do adult things, and then you're asking me to treat like an adult. So I don't know why you cry so much. Right? I mean, you going around pointing guns, and now you're accused of shooting a little kid. And then I know what's going on. I know what's going on over at Park Mall. I know what's going on out on the street. Like I know all this, right? Yes, sir. I understand you're just causing problems everywhere you go. Here's the thing, Rodney. Right? I'm not gonna let you go because I know you're gonna go out there. You can handle more guns. Maybe somebody else gets shot, right? I know you can go out there. You're gonna make more videos about Judge Kim, right? Because I've seen those two. I made another video about you. That was the only video, right? So, you know, this is one of those things. I know you're gonna go out and you're gonna do your thing and uh, and cause more problems. So, here's the thing: you're you're not as tough as you think you are, all right? You're not as tough as you're trying to make yourself out to be. You're not. I mean, you're just causing problems and you're making people pick sides. And the thing is, everyone that's picking a side is losing. They're all losing because they're, you know what? They're picking a side over you, a kid that's just trying to milk the system, right? You're just using everyone else around you, including your grandpa, including Mr. Spence, including me. I don't use them. I don't got nothing. You don't think you use your grandpa? I don't use my papa. Grandpa, how many times have you been evicted because of him? Uh, about two, times? three, four times. Right? He's I don't from, mind losing you. I love you, son. I love you. You don't listen. You don't listen to him. You don't follow his rules, right? And so Papa, he loves you. Papa, so before I even cut that money, I was doing everything you asked me, right? Everything. Uh, yes, yes, but. You, you did cut the monitor because you wanted to go to the funeral. Agreed. But that's all over with. We're here at this point now. We got to deal with what you got to deal with. And you You're keep right. Judge Kim. And he, that's why we are where we are now. Your papa was a wise man. You know, he's here every single time you have a detention hearing. Every single time. 